What's going on to all of my Scorpios out there? So let's get into it. All right. So let's shuffle things up some more. Okay. All right. So the cards that I came up with for um, you Scorpios is the Nine of Swords, the Empress, the Nine of Pentacles, the Moon, King of Wands, Six of Swords, Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and the Two of Cups. All right. So, for you Scorpios, you have this being a situation for a lot of you where the Nine of Swords, the Empress, and the Nine of Pentacles, right? It's about how a lot of you Scorpios, um, the moon, the king of wands, yeah, like, uh, you know, um, a lot of you Scorpios are not going to really be tripping out about relationships too much and relationship problems too much. And the reason, just in the long term, and the reason why I'm saying that is because the nine of swords just kind of speaks to where you were you know, before. And the empress is, is that now you have a better understanding of who you are now, as you should, right? Like all of us, right? The, the nine of swords, this kind of speaks to all of us, you know, when we first start out getting to know other people, how difficult it can be, right? And then for those people who graduate that and, and see it for what it really is, then we get here where, you know, we're not necessarily the most interested in keeping relationships but if a person is valuable enough then we will we will most definitely keep them it's just a matter of if the person is is um valuable enough to essentially to be kept and then you have the nine of pentacles which is understanding that we we have to have some form of focus and goals as to what we do and a lot of times you know people put relationships first in front of everything but that's just the same as putting another person in front of yourself, right? As far as the, you know, the, the head honcho, putting, that, putting them on a pedestal. But the moon and the king of wands speaks to how, since this is the case, this is where a lot of people end up getting messed up at. Because you put somebody else on a pedestal and those people are really not planning necessarily, not all of them, but a lot of those people are not necessarily planning on doing the right thing, right? Doing the most fair thing. A lot of times people are caught up in the game out here whose date, like I said before, is, is, is trash. You know, the dating pool is trash because it is trash. I'm not saying that just to make myself sound cool or because I got sour grapes. No, I'm saying that, you know, as, as an experienced person who... <laughs> You know, who who ain't, who ain't, I never said that I had the most game because I, I don't use game in order to uh, get to know people. I literally just am myself. I walk up to them and I let them know what it is that, that I'm, that I'm into. I, I let them know that I'm into them and I let them know in general why it is that I walked over to them in the first place. You know, in real life, it, in, you know, in real life, you know. I'm an introverted extrovert, meaning that I can adapt between the, the situations, wh whether I got to say something or whether I got to be in my head. You understand? But at the same time, I'm an introvert at heart, though, in real life. So a lot of the things I be living in my head, but I still do a lot of approaching. <laughs> and how I did that is by understanding that, number one, I'm not a player. So that takes a lot of the, the stress and the pressure off my shoulders. And then the things that the moon and the king of wands represents just that, right? Like, it's not about me. But what I'm trying to say is, is that kind of give you Scorpios a better understanding of what I've got going on, right? Like, you Scorpios are caught up with the mentality of it all, right? The pressure of it all. The king of wands represents more than likely, you know, See, this is part of the reason why you shouldn't have any kind of fear or anxiety to walk up to somebody because more than likely the person is, the person is, is dysfunctional, right? 
Because if 90% of, of dating, the people that you're going to date is dysfunctional, more than likely they're dysfunctional, you know? So when you have that mentality in mind, when you, when you understand your own value, when you understand that most people are um, dysfunctional that you're going to meet, there's not necessarily a whole lot of, of fear that you should have, right? Um, then you have the Six of uh, Swords and the Knight of Cups, right? And even the Knight of Pentacles. These three cards here, they represent how when people uh, come in or you uh, approach people, Either way it goes, whether they're into you, right, and they do the approaching, or um, you do the approaching, right? Um, depending on who you are, you may have to do more approaching than you do approach. Because a lot of people, I ain't going to lie, a lot of people, are, most people are afraid to do the approaching. Most people are afraid to do the approach, right? Um, so everybody wants, I ain't going to say everybody, but a lot of people want to sit back and get approached. That's not realistic, right? But if you found value within this reading, then it means it's time for you to come get a personal reading from me. Uh, there's a link in the link tree. Excuse me. There's a, a link in the comment section called the link tree. Click on it. It'll redirect you to a website that has my Yahoo my Instagram page, the books that I have on Amazon.com uh, for private readings, clothing store. Come and get your private reading today. I am available. Now, the Six of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles represents now the, the type of people that, that you know, you're interacting with. Again, you, you know, the pressure that a lot of you Scorpios have on your shoulders. What I'm seeing here is, is that a lot of you Scorpios are still very much so getting to know people which is good. But the problem is that a lot of you Scorpios may have a problem with doing the approaching and telling people how it is that you feel and, you know, being intimate, letting people in. And I mean, a lot of people have problems with approaching, you know, a lot of people have problems with approaching. And the reason why they have a problem with approaching is because they think that the person essentially, you know, is not necessarily going to give them a very good response or a very good interaction, you know? And a lot of that stuff, honestly speaking, is due to conditioning. But like I said, Scorpio, when you learn to, to not care so much, then you'll be able to do it without, without that fear too much. Now, the Page of Swords and the Two of Cups now represent how this is a situation where um, yeah, some people are going to give you a hard time, right? But you're going to have to learn to get over that, though, because that's part of what keeps people caught up from actually doing the approaching, right? Because look, look, let's face it. The majority of the times you're going to have to do the approaching, depending on who you are. Um, it's getting to a point now where everybody's going to have to do some sort of approaching if you want something. That is, if you want someone, you're going to have to, everyone is going to have to do some kind of approaching. Um, and you really, and the thing is that especially today, I love it because you're really starting to see how the people who act like they have all this game, right? When they put up underneath the microscope, when they have, when they put, when they have pressure put on them, they really don't know what it is that they talk about and they really scared. You know, like I've been in certain situations myself where, you know, I'm so unafraid. I don't walked up to people, you know, <laughs> grabbing, you know, gra grabbing my stuff and, and trying to talk. And I got results. <laughs> you know, y'all know what I mean when I say grabbing my stuff. With witnesses, you know, my best friend is my witness. <laughs> Just like that. So, I mean, you can't, you know what I mean? You, you, you just can't be scared. Now, if you want to know how not to be, obviously contact me for the relationship course, you know? You know, people want to figure it out, but then, you know, they can't. 
you know, and then they be asking me questions and stuff like this. Well, I can give you those answers, but I, but I can only say too much here on YouTube. So contact me for a relationship course, private reading, something like this so that I can help you help yourself, you know? So to clarify the moon, Seven of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, the Moon, the Two of Pentacles, right? So the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles is make sure the relationship is reciprocal. Make sure that these people are giving back to you. The ones that want to be in this relationship, always make sure that if a relationship is going to work, it has to be reciprocal. You just can't give, 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 give all the time. Nah, that's not a functional, healthy relationship. That's a parasite. That's a parasitic, symbiotic relationship where one person is trying to act like they have all this value and do all this and do all that and blah, 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 blah. And all that. And then when you go, and then, and then if, you know, you go, all right, fine. So since you have, since you think you have all this value, no, 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 don't be like that. Okay, then so what? You know, so, you know, they are out here while then make sure that any relationship that you get into, make sure that it's reciprocal. You get something out of the deal. The moon, the two of pentacles. Oh, wait, can't clarify a card with the same card. So we got to draw another one. The two of pentacles and the three of swords. The two of pentacles and the three of swords is. And if things don't necessarily uh, work out for you, that's why you take the month off. You recuperate, you heal, right? What do we talk about? You heal. If you've really been hurt like that, you take the month off, you heal, you recuperate, you know? Because when approaching started to become a little bit of a problem for me, um, you know, last summer, I should say, I took a month off. I stopped, I literally stopped trying to approach people for the rest of the year because yeah you know some people or whatatnot wanted me to do the approach and I'm, I'm I, at that point I wasn't even trying to do all of that you know I really wasn't you know because if they like me so much why couldn't they say something no they wanted they that's whack <laughs> you know that's whack and this is why I say everybody needs to do the approaching because at some point everyone needs to have some form of approaching experience because and i and i'm writing about this in my book right in more detail is due to the fact that what kind of that's 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 whack that goes to show you that the person is trash period they 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 like you but they won't do the approaching you trash if you if you don't do that why so you expect the other so the person says what's up to you you want to talk to the person, but you see that the person isn't talking to you. So what do you do? You try to get the person's attention. Okay, and what are you going to do with it? You're not going to do anything. You still expect this person to come over and talk to you. That's whack. That's a dub. Automatically, that's a dub. You know, whenever it is, I'm, I'm trying to get to know people and I know that somebody likes me, right? And they won't come over and, and, and I'm not coming over and talking to them and they won't come over and talk to me. That's a dub. Because I, because I'm already, I'm already seeing how brave you are, and you're not that brave at all. You really don't have that level of bravery. So I already know everything I need to know about this. When it comes to, I know everything I need to know about the relationship. If it came to doing better, the other person ain't gonna change. Immediately, I know better. I immediately, I know what type of person it is. Just based off of you scared to to do the approaching, because the truth is, is that it's unfair. Why is it that 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 only one group essentially has to do all the approaching, and the other group just wants to sit back, even if they're interested, right? They just has to they just have to sit back, while the only the only time that one group only does the approaching and will do the approaching and flirting and all this other type of stuff is if they see you with some sort of fancy car if they see you with this that's whack that's whack 
This is how it is that usury happens because that's whack. That's what what type of stuff is that? That lets me know that lets anyone with real game know what type of time it is. So and and that's what makes it confusing. How on one hand, right? You 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 know you into the person, you won't go up to them and talk to them. But if a person has a fancy car, right, you'll go up to them and talk to them, not even really because you really like them like that, right? Because the the person that you like was really the person that you won't go up to and talk to. But the person that you not that you don't really like, you'll go up to them and talk to them because they got a fancy car and you're seeing this as your opportunity to calm up, but you don't actually like them. So how you just change your standards and move the goalposts like that. So that's whack. So that lets me know everything I need to know about you. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? That's that's what I'm trying to say. Come and get the relationship course. Come and get the private tarot reading. Right? So I can help y'all. So let's clarify the two of cups. You see how easily I just broke that down? Because to me, it's clear that person is not meant to be. If you don't have any kind of approaching experience, you're not meant to be trusted, period. Because what 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 is that? So to clarify the two of uh, cups, we have the ten of wands, the chariot, the five of pentacles, and the six of wands. Right. This is a situation for a lot of you where, you know, what it is that you want is a relationship. But I'm not even going to sugarcoat it or lie to you, Scorpio. You have the page of swords and the two of cups. People are out here going to try to try you. But again, this is all a part of the process because they see you, Scorpios, as being individ good individuals. See, it's the people that ultimately have value are the, are the people that get used. That's the reason why people are trying to use you. That's the reason why the people who are parasites are trying to use you because you obviously have value. But see, the Ten of Wands and the Chariot represents don't allow these people to use you. Once you start to see how dysfunctional they are, you got to bounce. The five of pentacles and the six of wands represents they're going to be out here begging because that's what it is. It's begging them people trying to, you know, get, you know. Get you to think that they into you, all of that stuff is them basically on another level begging for resources because they really don't have anything, but they're trying to stunt like they do. So just keep that in mind. Right. <laughs> Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. Um, I'm trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 10,000 subscribers by the end of June. As of right now, have 4,374 subscribers. Smash that subscribe button. Smash that like button. Hit the notification bell and set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop these videos.